That's right, President Uhuru Kenyatta is already in Sicily, Italy. He will be addressing the G7 tomorrow on matters, innovation, and the challenges for economic growth on the African continent. But really, what President Kenyatta is hoping to achieve is that this group of seven, which is basically a super pack of the world's most powerful leaders and industrialized economies, will view Kenya not just as a hub to go to, but as an ambassador for Africa and a partner to the G7. I recall one envoy telling us that choices had consequences. Uh, the narrative has changed incredibly. Uh, now Kenya is a sought-after brand. Uh, the leadership is sought after. But the knowledge that uh, if you're talking innovation, if you're talking peace and security, if you're talking economic growth, uh, if you're talking about the youth, that the country to actually have this conversation with this Kenya, uh, I think is, uh, is, is clear. Now, from where President Kenyatta sits, it's only by opening up developing nations to world markets that Africa can be elevated to a status of equity on the globe. However, matters to do with global trade and security will be of importance in this conversation and closer home. Innovations such as M-Pesa, Huduma Centers and Konza City will take center stage. So we're looking at ways of where we can invest together globally so that we take care of our people they uh, grow and see development while not necessarily feeling that they have to leave the continent. I'm Jackie Maribe from Sicily in Italy.